Johann Christian Poggendorf was a German physicist born in Hamburg. By far the greater and more important part of his work related to electricity and magnetism. Poggendorf is known for his electrostatic motor which is analogous to Wilhelm Holtz's electrostatic machine. In 1841 he described the use of the potentiometer for measurement of electrical potentials without current draw. Biography Ambition and a strong inclination towards a scientific career led him to throw up his business and move to Berlin where he entered Humboldt University in 1820. Here his abilities were speedily recognized, and in 1823 he was appointed meteorological observer to the Academy of Sciences. Even at this early period he had conceived the idea of founding a physical and chemical scientific journal, and the realization of this plan was hastened by the sudden death of Ludwig Wilhelm Gilbert, the editor of Gilbert's Annalen der Physik. In 1824 Poggendorf immediately put himself in communication with the publisher, Bath of Leipzig. He became editor of Annalen der Physik und Chemie, which was to be a continuation of Gilbert's Annalen on a somewhat extended plan. Poggendorf was admirably qualified for the post, and edited the journal for 52 years, until 1876. In 1826, Poggendorf developed the mirror of galvanometer, a device for detecting electric currents. He had an extraordinary memory, well stored with scientific knowledge, both modern and historical, a cool and impartial judgment, and a strong preference for facts as against theory of the speculative kind. He was thus able to throw himself into the spirit of modern experimental science. He possessed in abundant measure the German virtue of orderliness in the arrangement of knowledge and in the conduct of business. Further he had an engaging geniality of manner and much tact in dealing with men. These qualities soon made Poggendorf's Annalen the foremost scientific journal in Europe. In the course of his 52 years editorship of the Annalen Poggendorf could not fail to acquire an unusual acquaintance with the labors of modern men of science. This knowledge, joined to what he had gathered by historical reading of equally unusual extent, he carefully digested and gave to the world in his biographisch literarisches Handwörterbuch zur Geschichte der exakten Wissenschaften, containing notices of the lives and labors of mathematicians, astronomers, physicists, and chemists, of all peoples and all ages. This work contains an astounding collection of facts invaluable to the scientific biographer and historian. The first two volumes were published in 1863, after his death the third volume appeared in 1898, covering the period 1858 to 1883, and a fourth in 1904, coming down to the beginning of the 20th century. His literary and scientific reputation speedily brought him honorable recognition. In 1830 he was made royal professor, in 1838 Hahn, Ph.D., and extraordinary professor in the University of Berlin, and in 1839 member of the Berlin Academy of Sciences. In 1845, he was elected a foreign member of the Royal Swedish Academy of Sciences. Many offers of ordinary professorships were made to him, but he declined them all, devoting himself to his duties as editor of the Annalen, and to the pursuit of his scientific researches. He died at Berlin on 24 January 1877. His daughter Marie Poggendorf married Valentin Rose in 1872. Illusion The Poggendorf illusion is an optical illusion that involves the brain's perception of the interaction between diagonal lines and horizontal and vertical edges. It is named after Poggendorf, who discovered it in the drawing of Johann Carl Friedrich Zollner, in which he showed the Zollner illusion in 1860. In the picture to the right, a straight black line is obscured by a dark grey rectangle. The black line appears disjointed, although it is in fact straight. The second picture illustrates this fact. Publications J.C. Poggendorf, Annalen der Physik, Sir, 2, Volume, 139, pp. 513-546.
J. C. Poggendorf, Biographisch Literarisches Handwaterbuch der Exakt und Naturwissenschaften, Johann Ambrosius Barth, Leipzig, 1863, two volumes, Band 2 at Google Books, Biographisch Literarisches Handwaterbuch, Emil Frommel, Johann Christian Poggendorf, Lebenslinien's Ergeschichte der Exakten Wissenschaften Seit Wiederherstellung des Ben, Alexander Dunker, Berlin 1853, Johann Christian Poggendorf at Google Books, Geschichte der Physik, Joe, AMBR, Bath, Leipzig 1879, US at Google Books, US at Google Books, on Internet Archive.